All right, so you can see that I've finished my doodle. I've played around with the different, some different patterns. Most of these patterns have been more geometric in nature rather than organic, but there's some nice kind of curvy lines that go in there. It doesn't, it isn't anything in particular, so it's more abstract than figurative. And, you know, it has some areas that are pretty dark and some areas that are light. And so when we continue on with this, we'll talk a little bit more about value and how to create contrast because Sometimes we're just doodling for the sake of doodling, but eventually we want to get to the point where we are creating compositions that are engaging our viewers. And a lot of that is going to tie into some of those principles of design, um, like rhythm and like contrast and emphasis. Now, one last thing that you can add here is you can add some shading to create some three dimensionality. So especially in my little central area here, I added some lines at the end to kind of create the sense of it being round. But you can absolutely go back with your pencil, whether it's mechanical or not. And actually, it probably would be easier just to use a standard pencil. And you can kind of shade it a little bit. So when you shade it, you really want to hold your pencil pretty lightly and kind of, you know, stir easy where you don't really see much of it. And in general, objects towards the back of the edge of the object tends to be a little bit darker than kind of the center point or the part that would be closest to the viewer. So without really overthinking it too much, you could simply add a little bit of shading to the edges of some of your shapes and it will help to create this sense of depth, uh, which is kind of one of the core points of how you create three-dimensional illusions, which is one of our master targets, one of our big standards for this semester. So, and then, you know, just do it as much as you feel comfortable doing it, and then you're done. Um, and you can certainly sign, you know, do a signature on it or not. Um, and that's it. So please let me know if you have any questions.